Welcome back to Quan Four's New Year's Live, presented by Elite MD. Here are your hosts, Catherine Heenan and George Raz. And welcome back, everybody. We are approaching the top of the hour. Boy, we're getting close, George. We've got uh, less than six minutes, just a few minutes left until we hit 2011. I know. It's coming up pretty quickly. And uh, we want you to stay with us as we will ring in the new year with you, complete with the fireworks at midnight. We have two cameras set up to show you great views of this spectacular display. Yeah, no reason to be out in the cold and the rain. Just stick with us. Before we uh, get to that point, we're going to journey back to the 60s one more time. Henry is at the Summer of Love. Henry, what, what's happening? Oh, uh, you know, Led Zeppelin is rocking us out. It is 1969 all over again. The folks here are, well, that's a kind of a 90s thing. But anyway, folks here are having a great time. We are enjoying a flashback, ladies and gentlemen. We are partying like it's 1969. Oh, yeah. like 1969, baby. Back to you. Every time we see Henry, he's got more stuff. Now he's got the, the he's the got beads. more costume. Now, yeah. <laughs> let's go to Vicky. Vicky, looking uh, quite different, very chic at the water bar. Are we going to go back to Vicky one more time? We uh, are. No, I've been called a cold fish before. Okay, all right, that was a very bad pun, but things are getting a little bit, um, shall we say, wrapped up. We're we're five minutes away, and uh, so far, so good. Everybody. People here from this is Petra from Prague. Hi, Petra Hi. from Prague. Hi everyone, how are you? Happy New Year. We're at a party. Okay, <laughs> Dr. Sonia. And you know what? I don't necessarily know everybody here. Yes, Neil. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh my goodness, Clark Russell. Happy New Year, everybody. Okay. We are, I mean, anticipating the moment. So, um, I'll have one more sip of champagne and send it back to you. All right, Vic, I'm glad to see you're actually drinking some champagne. All right. Um, Not to be outdone, oh, Catherine. Can we open it? I believe indeed we can. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to open it. I was looking I mean, at hers and thinking it looked delicious. It's all part of the celebration. As we look at the clock now, we're just less than three, three and a half minutes. minutes away. And so we thought we'd provide folks with a little demonstration on the proper method of opening okay. a bottle of champagne, since many of you are going to be doing that this evening. Yeah, don't aim it at my head. That's right. Well, the key is, Catherine, good champagne. Champagne uh, should never be popped. And as the saying goes, uh, good champagne never pops, it only weeps apologetically. Now, the correct method is to hold the cork yeah. and twist the bottle. <laughs> and when you do so, you can just ease it out nicely and hear a nice. Oh, like I heard so. that. Beautiful. And of course, nothing like good uh, Riddell crystal from which to. Ooh, you are from a which gentleman. To drink you thought it. of everything. Well, you know. Can I drink some before midnight? Well, we'll we'll have it ready, I think, at okay. least. He's you telling know, me no, I can't drink. Uh, okay. Well, we can hold our glasses it's at what, least. It's two and a half minutes, so we can wait. All right, here, give um, me a little toast. And we're gonna uh, go back to Henry one more time. They're telling me, Henry, we've got champagne. Where are you? What are you doing? Thank you, Henry. 
Henry is having fun, and yes, they're reminding us, look at the clock, less than a minute to 2011, George. And while this band is not likely to play at Catherine, of course, the song that most people will be hearing is All Lang Syne, uh, which means, uh, I, well, it was written by the poet Bobby Burns, I think, in the 18th century. It means time's gone by, Very and uh, it's a very familiar tune to all of us, and that's the song, as I say, that most people will be singing, but probably not the folks uh, down at the Summer of Love. So now he knows champagne, he knows poetry, and we're close. <laughs> we 20, are indeed. Twenty seconds. In or fact, so. there is uh, the fireworks show that we're about to see. As we count it down, there will be some live music or some music that it's synchronized to. We'll be trying to play that along with the fireworks that we're about to see. As we now count down, ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four. four Three, two, two one. one. Happy New Happy Year, New everybody. Happy New Year, everybody.
people putting this thing together. This really is fabulous. Yeah, Jeff Thomas, who actually designed this show, Catherine, uh, the gentleman with whom we spoke in our little piece, he uh, he's the guy who actually sits down, puts the music track together, then decides and chooses which effects he wants at which point in the timeline on the music. And believe it or not, there is now software that's developed by a company in Pebble Beach, California called Pyro Digital Consultants. Uh, that software actually allows them to back time the shell. So when the designer, the artist, says, I want this effect at this point, it automatically calculates when that shell needs to be electronically fired into the air. And that's how all of this is done now, yeah, electronically. Yeah, this is, and this is one of, that's why we just sort of stopped blabbing there for a few moments, because this is just a gorgeous show. And it is, it is set to music, as George says, and... It's beautifully done. A lot of work goes into this. It does. It took them about four or five days to set up the barge and uh, set up the shelves that we're seeing here. And we could not have, Catherine, a better night in terms no. of visibility. Look at this. Yeah. Just enough of a breeze to blow the smoke away so that uh, the brilliance of the fireworks isn't lost. No. We were, we were worried about that, as always, and they were talking about rain, but it really is quite clear. The show looks fantastic. I was laughing because we're talking about... You were explaining the technology of the fireworks, and I was watching Henry just sort of bopping with his uh, headband <laughs> and his sideburns. With his headband there. and his sideburns on. And he's having a good time. Well, we're all having a good time. This is a, a shot of what's happening in Seattle. Seattle, the needle. The space needle there. A great 60s icon, isn't it? It really is, and that is a fun place for the fireworks. What do they do? Oh, yeah, the, the, they're setting them off from the... They need to look like. Exactly right. Yeah, exactly right. They shoot them right from the top. Back to our show, I think. Here in San Francisco, yes. Again, this is being shot from a pair of barges, which are being held in place by tugboats. Uh, they're uh, right off of uh, right off of the pier in San Francisco, and. Uh, the, the tugboats that they use, Catherine, are there so that even at the last minute, they can reposition the show if wind or weather becomes a factor. And Henry's there's Henry. back. Henry there's Henry. Henry. And we're letting you just continue to watch the fireworks on the other side of the screen because it's a terrific show and it's continuing. Kind of an interesting mix, isn't it? The <laughs> of summer the old of love and, the new. and the Henry in the 60s and the fireworks on the right. Two of my favorite things, the summer of Why love not? and fireworks. Absolutely. Still going, George. Look. It is. This will be about a 15-minute show, so it'll be running for about another five minutes. The finale itself, Catherine, will last uh, oh, nearly a minute and a half, and hundreds uh, or near thousands of effects will go up into the air just for the finale. And you always know when it's the finale. Everything sort of goes crazy, and it's like, okay, it's hard to miss, but that's the end. seen here, Catherine, is the color blue, which has been a very difficult color for uh, pyrotechnicians to achieve. But in the last few years, they've managed, uh, managed to perfect the color blue, and so we see it a lot more now in firework shows and certainly in this one. A lot of great traditions in connection with celebration of the New Year. And, of course, one of them is what you're doing right now, watching New Year's Live here on Cron 4. And sipping some of your excellent champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can't see us right now. You're looking at the fireworks. But we're drinking the champagne, which well, was very good. Thank you for bringing it, George. Well, it's also part of the New Year tradition, isn't it? Yes, it is. I love those. Whatever you, you probably know, but the, the little white things that go all over the place. What Cross are those shells. Of course called. he knows. He knows what they're called. <laughs> you realize tonight you've explained what uh, old Lang Syne means and the technology of fireworks and how to open a bottle of champagne. <laughs> George, you're a Renaissance man. Well, thank you, my dear. And back to the 60s there on the left. They're having a good time, though. They really are.
my question is, what is Henry going to be wearing next? He started with like a headband. Then we oh my saw God! Then he's got the bell the bottom love thing. Beads. Look at those bell bottoms. Where did he get those? I think he has a tie-dye shirt on too. Somebody there is just giving him more and more pieces of his costume <laughs> as the night goes on. Now you see those flashes in the sky. One of the things that was promised for this show was that we would hear more um, what are called uh, reports or salutes, which are uh, basically... Or bangs, as big, I call them. <laughs> big, big bangs in the sky, Catherine. That's not to put too fine a point on it, but that's exactly what they are.
was spectacular. Yeah, like you say, Catherine, you can always tell when the finale hits, and that was it. Uh, of course, finishing with uh, the traditional song, All Day and Zine, and uh, it's been a great show. I'm really happy about the weather we had tonight, that we could see it all. I know, and people in San Francisco, that's the one thing. Can we see it? Fog. It was beautiful. Stay with us, everybody. We will be uh, right back, and we're going to show you some of the celebrations uh, again here and around the world. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.